Hey guys, this is Gail with Check This Gadget, and today I'm going to review the Kodak ZXD HD Pocket Video Camera. I was walking through the camera section off of Depot when I saw this camera for the low price of $49.99. Now, until now, I wasn't into the flip or other pocket video cameras because I use my DSLR for videos. But for 50 bucks, I couldn't pass up buying it, and I'm glad I did. I guess I got lucky by going to this particular office depot because when I went to another one, they had the ZXD priced at 109 So you might find it at your local office depot for 50 bucks like I did, or you might not. But you can always check Amazon too. They usually have some deals. So to give you a little information on the camera, it records in 720p at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. So that's nice that they have the option of recording at 60. Um, you can try some slow motion stuff with that. It also takes still pictures at 3 megapixels takes high capacity SD cards, and is weather resistant. So let's take a closer look at the camera. As you can see, it has a D-pad with a select button in the middle which also acts as the record button. Then we have the trash button to delete clips. The button below that is the stop button. On the right side, we have the camcorder button which takes you into recording mode if you're, say, viewing your clips or in another mode like that. And below we have the playback button which allows you to review your videos and pictures. On the left side of the device, we have your power button, and connections for the HDMI and AV card, and on the right side you have your SD slot. Now, inside the box, you get an HDMI card, which is nice. I really like that Kodak including that because I can use that with my DSLR also. Then they include the AV, USB card for transferring data, and two AA batteries along with the charger, which is nice. The sockets on the charger, however, do not fold down, but that's okay, I can live with that. Also, you would expect the lights to turn green when they are fully charged, uh, which I believe they say put them on the charge for 10 hours when you first get them. But I left mine on the charge for 24 hours and the lights were still red, so I'm not sure why my lights don't turn green. This also happens with another rechargeable set of batteries I have that is not of the Kodak brand, so I'm not sure if I just have special type of charges that don't work. Not sure, but as long as you leave them on the charger for a while, uh, don't mind the light still being red, they'll be fully charged when you put them in your camera. Also, in the box, you get an instruction manual which helps start you off. Uh, nothing too in depth. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, for $50, very nice video camera. And even at 109, still pretty nice since it records great footage outside. Inside, the footage is decent and good. Um, as long as you have, as long as you're not in low lighting. You know, you should get some decent footage. Okay, so here I was outside in my car. As you can see, it was a nice, bright, sunny day. So looking outside the window, the camera looks crispy, clear, nice HD on a nice, sunny day. So a nice, sunny day, get a nice, crisp HD. On this particular day, cloudy, overcast, but still nice clear video, nice HD quality coming out of this camera. Can't, can't knock that, it's uh, very good quality here. Want to give a little poster to see how it reads the text. So as you can see, you can see the posters clearly, you can clearly read them for the most part. And everything's really looking really nice, really nice HD quality. The plants are looking kind of nice. Um, of course, it's going to be overexposed in some areas, such as with the white, but hey, once again, it's a pocket video camera, so can't expect too much. So, for the price that you're paying for it, very good quality. Now, we want to take a look at the inside footage. Okay, this is the inside of a Target, so you know how Target lighting is, and this is how it will look inside of a Target or a retail store, such as to have similar lighting to Target, which is pretty much. This is at a store called Micro Center, which is also a retail store. A little different lighting, but still you get the point. Retail lighting, you know, you can get decent video in here. That's my whole point with showing this video of inside retail stores. Here, walking down a hall. A little more dim lighting, but you still you still get pretty decent video quality. And here, trying to look at my iPad, but as you can see, it doesn't have autofocus anything, so you're not going to be able to do you no know, screen work with this because it's not going to look very crisp. 
so let's review the Kodak ZXD if you uh, see it at your local store I recommend it, it looks great outside remember check this gadget make sure you subscribe